discuss ISP interface segregation principle. Clients should not be forced to depend on interfaces they do not use. Let's see our uh, first UML which is the violation case. The iWorkable interface forces its worker, the worker class, to implement both work and eat method regardless of whether all workers need both functionalities. This violates the interface segregation principle which states that no client should be forced to depend on methods it do not use. Look at the another UML diagram which is the compliance UML. The functionalities are split into two interfaces, iWorkable and iEatable interface. The workers class implements both but this design allows for more flexibility. Other classes can choose to implement only one of these interfaces to follow the ISP by not imposing unnecessary methods on them. So that is considered as a ISP compliance. That is what we should understand. So any structure which is not violating ISP or which is violating ISP is the way we can understand like any class should not be forced, any client should not be forced to implement those interface which they don't use. So that kind of forcing is not supposed to do. If it is happening, that means you are violating the ISP. So you're, in that case, again your friend is segregate the things in such a way that your class is forced only to implement those interface which they really need it or which they are supposed to use it. That is what you can see in the right side UML diagram where the compliance of ISP has shown to you. I hope it is clear to you. All right, let's understand DIP now. High level modules should not depend on low level, low level modules and both should depend on abstraction. Look at the left side UML violates the DIP principles because notification directly depends on the concrete class email service. This tightly couples notification to email service making it hard to extend or test notification with different messaging service. Look at the right side UML diagram complies with DIP by introducing an interface iMessage service. Now email service implements this interface and Notification depends on the interface rather than a specific implementation. So this allows notification to work with any class that implements iMessage service, making it more flexible and easier to test or modify in future. So this loose coupling is very, very handy and helpful. And again, you see that here also the abstraction comes in very handy. Like my thumb rule is again right, considered as a right because abstraction is most of the scenario abstraction will play a good role so that's why you always think on abstraction side first okay okay i hope by concluding this dip we have already covered all five solid designs